Hi, I'm Tawana, and I'm doing this week's Devo. And as I was preparing, I decided since it's Christmas time to do the season of smells. And the season of smells starts with the Christmas tree, not mine because it's imitation, but so many have real Christmas trees, hot chocolate, gingerbread, and baking. And then my, my favorite of all is candles. I love to burn candles at Christmas time and just get that gorgeous smell. But more than anything, as you know, it's Jesus' birthday. And what was uh, really striking to me last week as I was thinking about the birth of Christ was I was thinking that began his journey to the cross. And when I was thinking of the fragrances and the smells of Christmas, I was reminded of John chapter 12, where, where as Jesus was preparing at the Passover meal, looking forward to the fact that he would die for us because he loved us, a woman came in and she brought a beautiful fragrance. She brought nard. I'd just like to share this with you out of John chapter 12. Six days before the Passover celebration began, Jesus arrived in Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from the dead. A dinner was prepared for Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who were with him. Mary took a 12-ounce jar of expensive perfume made from the essence of nard, and she anointed Jesus' feet with it wiping his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance. I just love Mary. She loved to worship, and she was worshiping Jesus, the one who's being born now, and later, 33 years later, will go to the cross for our sins. And in her act of worship, she took this nard, very expensive perfume, and she poured it over Jesus' head, and she took her hair and her tears, and she just filled the room with the fragrance of worship for Jesus. As I was thinking about that, I was thinking, who do I smell like? What do I smell like? In this season of hope, in this season of Jesus coming, I was wondering, what is my fragrance? I want the, ar the aroma of Jesus in my life. So as you go throughout the rest of your week, just think about this. When you're walking through the stores, when you're going to your job, when you're sitting down at dinner tonight with your family, do you have the fragrance of Jesus? As Jesus left that room and went out among the people, it's exciting to think about when the other men and women who were with him left that door, people would say, wait, we saw Jesus, and he smelled this beautiful smell, this beautiful aroma, and now the people coming out of that room smell like Jesus. May we all be able to smell like Jesus at this Christmas season. I love you. Have a great week.